Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ's PRC. Today I want to show you how to install a light kit. Basically, this guy here is a light kit that has uh, turn signals, high beam, low beam, backup light, brake lights. Now, the way I want to show you guys to install this guy here is basically on this Traxxas Rustler 4x4. We're on the physical body itself. Let's remove the body here. <coughs> it doesn't have any light buckets. There's none of it. Even in the back. Now I'm just going to put this car on the ground. The way we're gonna, I'm gonna do this is in the kit itself came with small inserts. Now on these small inserts, I might use them or in some application I might not. Now on front of this rustler, not sure if you guys will be able to see it. The camera may not focus, there we go. They have a sticker with showing them the light bulbs on them. I'm gonna try to use these lights too. Basically drill a hole and insert this insert right here and this one and this one. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to go in the far corner here for the parking light slash fla flasher. Now for the back, I'm gonna go right here because I'm gonna try to keep it a straight and flat with the back, same thing too. And parking light, I'm gonna go just beside it here. <coughs> On this part, it's not hard to do. Basically, you find the correct size of drill bit. Or the other thing you could use too, if you wanted to, you could use your body rimmer. And on mine here, I do have a gauge, a depth gauge. And basically find the correct one and you stop right there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my, my drill here. And basically, grill my drill bit and drill a hole. Now I'm just gonna make sure the sticker is stickered correctly here. And always make sure that your drill bit is not bigger as the bit itself. You want it just a slightly smaller. And the other thing you could do when you have a, basically a drill kit with multiple bits in it. The other thing I sometimes I do, I just grab the smaller one And I go with that one. And if I need to oversize, I'll oversize it. Now I'm going to try to go directly in the middle. Now, sorry if you hear the drill. And I'm not pressing the drill crazy because I don't want to make any mistakes. Now I gripe, I gripe, I gripe. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I grab the light holder and let's see if it fits. It doesn't. Okay. Now I know I don't have the correct size. I'll grab the first one I had. And just oversize it a bit. And she's in. I don't know if you guys can see it. See if the camera's gonna refocus. 
some reason she doesn't want to. Yeah, and I went exactly where the light is, the other side, and put it right there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do all of them, and I'll come back and show you guys. Hey guys, and I'm back. Did all my holes. I'm just cleaning up here. Moving the rest of the debris. What I ended up doing is not using the uh, provided buckets that came with the kit. And I'll explain why in a second here. Uh, when I took the physical bucket and put it in the light socket here that I made the hole, when it sat on it and the light pointed up in the air, basically it followed the body. And this guy here, instead of being straight like this, it was pointed. Now, some people wouldn't care about that, but for me personally, I do care. I want the lights to point pretty much straight on the vehicle. Again, I went in the corner, then I went the low beam, or maybe the high beam. This is the low beam, same thing on the other side. For the back here, what I did, straighter possible here in the corner, and parking light, I went right here. It's going to be on the side of the vehicle. Basically, when you're driving at night, you'll be able to differentiate which one is the front and which one is the back. Now, what I'm going to end up doing here <clears throat> is grabbing my lights that I need. Uh, this is the one yellow. This is the other yellow. Uh, that's our two whites that I don't need. There we go, we got one red. And the other red should be right here. There we go. I'm just going to try to unmess this mess. <coughs> there we go. Because what I'm going to do, this light controller is going to live right there. I'm going to Velcro it dead center. Then I'm going to run these wires on the side here. That way they don't interfere with the Traxxas uh, I'm going to say it or I'm going to sing it. I guess I'm going to sing it. The <laughs> Traxxas lock here. Body clips. Eliminator, should I say. Now, what I'm going to do is going to put the lights inside the holes I made. Put them in. Let's see how they're gonna look, okay. This I like. Now I can bend the wires a bit to achieve what I want to achieve. There we go. Now they may not stay there. There you go. Now the back ones are going to be a little bit crooked as this part is not straight, but that I don't really mind. And what I'm going to use to hold them there is Shugu. Shugu won't damage the paint. Pretty 80% of the time it won't damage the paint. Sometimes it does. It's unfortunately there's not much you can really do. Uh, and the biggest reason I want to use Shugu is basically it will flex with the body. 
itself. You could use silicone if you wanted to. Uh, Shugu is a little bit easier to handle, things like that. Um, I do have a video how to repair a body with Shugu. If you guys want to go check that out too. But this is what I'm going to do. Basically around all the wires. I might uh, basically tape some wires to get it with uh, Tessa tape. This is Tessa tape right here. <coughs> uh, this I got on Amazon. It's basically automotive tape. That's uh, like a felt. Very nice to work with. Uh, I might just tie them everything and run them down and keep everything right here. Same thing as the front. The fronts I'm going to try to sugar them and keep them uh, with an angle. As the wires are long enough, I'm going to do one on this side and one on this side right here. Now, for your application, could be a little bit different the size of your body. You might need to extend these wires. Let's say we had a short course body, metal. The short course body is about this long uh, and won't be long enough. Basically, what I would do is cut your wire, just extend it the length you need exactly, and then find your module at that center of your, your cab. And one of the reasons, if you ever ask why not put this in the physical vehicle itself, you would have all the wires going in the middle when you would remove your cab, you would end up with a mess of wire. That's one of the reasons, basically, I prefer grabbing the module itself and putting on top of the, the body. And that's just running the wires. Now, the other thing you could use too, if you wanted to, is basically hot glue. Hot glue will work too, will bond to the plastic, and sometimes it will damage the paint. You just need to be careful. Now, what I'm going to be using, like I said, is Shugu to be able to attach the LEDs on the vehicle. Now, unfortunately, Shugu doesn't take a second or two to dry. It takes close to 24 hours. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install all the lights, uh, Velcro this to the body itself, and achieve all this, and I'll restart the video and show you guys the end result on it. And we'll be back. And I'm back, guys. Sorry, I didn't, just, I didn't want to bore you guys with uh, the waiting to glue the wires on the body itself. And what I did while uh, the glue was drying, I ran and tied a little bit of the wires here. What ended up doing is the LED, I ended up gluing them with hot glue. That's why you see this is a little bit yellow. And if you look in the back, it's the same thing too here. Uh, simple reasons with the shugu would have taken too long and to keep the LED straight as possible and you'll see them here and same thing in the back flasher and this guy here uh, the other thing I did here too I covered all the wires in Tessa tape and I shugu the wires here to make sure nothing hits the wheels and things like that and here I just tie wrapped them uh, and what I'm going to do here, what I have left, I just want to grab these guys, these guys and try to tie wrap them together just to prevent them from bunching. Because I don't want anything to jam anything somewhere else. I'm just going to try to tie... Those two guys and these guys here together. Now, depending the how, why not how should I say, what you're using as mod module itself here could be a little bit different. There's some you can grab, they're basically just straight LEDs. Uh, you plug them in the power source when you turn the vehicle on, all your light turns on. This kit basically gives you uh, flashers, uh, brake light, high beam, low beam. And there's different mod modules out there that are a little bit different too. This one here basically gives you an high beam and low beam. 
Uh, when you stop, all four lights going to be on. When you take off, it shuts one set and the other one turns on. It, it's not the greatest out there, but it's, it's not too bad. Now, if we plug it in, basically now just adjust my servo t a tester. It's set up in manual. Now, like you see here, you'll have low and high beam, they're turned on, both of them, no flashers and no backup lights on. Now, if I go here, I think my battery is a little dying. You see now you have the flash on this side, this side too, and the brake light is on. But like I said, I'm just using my tester here. If I go to the other side, same thing too, blinking here, and you can see on this side it's blinking. If I go a little bit more, it's freaking out, but again, you have the flasher. Now the only thing I have left is basically grab the uh, the rustler itself and plug these guys in the module. The way this one works, channel one will go in the uh, port one, then the output will go to the servo, and channel two will be the speed control in and out. In a nutshell, this is how you do. LED lights on a non-bucket vehicle by itself. Doesn't really look bad at all. And like I said, what I try to do is keep these guys straight for the physical beam to look like a real headlight. That way you don't have it pointed up in the air or sideways or bottom ways. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bell, the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I upload videos, hit that bell. Thank you guys.